Hello everyone. Today this is going to be a little quick video on how to play French Defense. And now if you don't know what French Defense is, it is King's Front opening, uh, but then it's King's Front opening, but then when black doesn't move here, two squares, it just moves one square. Front that's called French Defense. Now how how do you play this? Well, um, so, a concept in chess they want to learn is that some beginners might play the knight variation, which is totally fine. Or queen's knight variation, which is also totally fine. But in the opening, you want to try and control the center as much as possible. So, the correct move right here, the best move would be right here, because now look at this. So, these pawn, this pawn is controlling these squares. And this pawn is controlling these squares, so you have full control of the center. That means, uh, right now you're 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 winning a little bit. And then, the most common move after that would be French defense normal variation. And then, yeah, you do you you could do this. Again, this is totally fine. But what I recommend is you go. You could you just don't take, just go for it. And now what this does right here is, number one, it eliminates the, this knight from going to here. Number two, it controls the board even more. Now it's controlling these two squares. And this pawn is still controlling this square. So you have good control of the board so far. And this is called French Defense Advanced Variation. And right now, how the game continue if he played the Mediterranean defense? Now you're winning right here, actually, because now you can, again, you can push this. And now, when he goes here, now you can, um, actually, you could try trapping his knight right here. You try trapping it. And then you can take it. So, attack the knight if this happens. And, but if this happens, you also attack the knight because now you have take, take. And now he has to go away somewhere with the knight. But then you have check. But that doesn't do anything. Okay. So, yes. This is what you want to do in French defense. And you could, there's a bunch of different variations to this. I'm just not going to explain all of them. There's here, you can go here, but this, this would be absolutely fine. Then your opponent plays here. So all you have to do is just keep developing pieces until you cast hole. And a, sta a standard game in the French defense, the opening of the French defense standard game in French defense would look something like this. So you bring out the bishop, bring out the knight, bring out the knight, you need to protect the square to go there, castle, develop bishop, put knight out, castle, and develop bishop, and then he will go, might go here, and this is how a standard game of French defense looks like, but uh, I'm actually going to show you a little trap at the end in the French defense that you could use, and all of these moves will, will they will they will not be able to will, they will not be made by amateurs since this is likely actually to happen. But French defense isn't like a really popular opening, so you have for your your player has to play French defense, and yeah, if your player plays right here. Your player plays plays what right here. Then please don't resign. That's just gonna waste your. You'll play that game, and then yeah. So let's show you the trap. So we have king's pawn opening and French defense. So then we do the right thing and we control the center. Normal variation. And now when he goes here, we bring out the knights. Both of us bring out the knights. And now we push the pawn. And what we're trying to do here is the player says, I can't go here, also take my queen. 
same as here. And I don't really want to go back right here, since this would just completely undevelop my knight, and all my pieces are already developed. So, the only move other I can do is go here. It's completely normal, and this is what every single, every single person in this position will probably do. So now, you're just going to develop your other knight. Two knights variation, French defense, knight variation, two knights variation. And now, when your opponent is going to play right here, preparing to cast right, it's a completely standard move. Now, we are not going to do what every single person does and what every single person does in this position in one second. We are actually going to do something smart. We are not going to put our bishop here. Well, we also need to castle, right? So now we just play. We don't play bishop here or bishop here. We play bishop right here, which is a pretty rare move in this position. Well, yeah, it's, this is a, it's still okay. It, it, it's completely standard. And now your opponent does a big, 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 big blunder. You might be thinking, what would that be? And what would you do? If I told you that the big blunder would be castling, you can see the bars going up. And that is because now, pause the video to find out right now, we sacrifice the bishop. And this is what we're doing right here. So we put this bishop right here on this square instead of on this square. We put it here in the first place to sacrifice it. Now, if your opponent isn't dumb, he's gonna, he isn't gonna, if your opponent isn't dumb, he's going to take it because if he doesn't, you're just going to have more advantage. So he has to take it. Now what you're going to do, you're losing by material, but that's completely okay. As long as you have these tempo, you're going to attack with the knight. Now he can't go on any of these squares, because what's going to happen is he he's just going to get checkmated on these squares. It's really easy. Remember that it's really easy to checkmate his ki uh, the king if it, he's on uh, if he's open. And you also a little trick right here. You can take this pawn, and now look at this. So it's automatic check, double check, and he cannot take this knight. He has to move away. And now you can take the queen and win the game. But, opponent is not going to do that, and he's going to go back right here. Now, you're going to go with the queen right here, and when you're, you're, you're trying to checkmate him, or that would be checkmate, and his only move right here, one of his only moves is going right here. Now you can see mate in five, but we're not actually going to do that. We're going to go right here, which doesn't have mate in five. Now when he takes, we are going to do another check now when he goes right here we just and he's attacking us with the rook we just take but now you can see that this king has nowhere to go he won't be able to go here or here or here and we are threatening check me right here so he will block right here but now we just attack the rook now that he sees that he does not have he, do, he doesn't have to put his, put his rook here. He's probably going to do something like this, which is going to be bad, or something like this, which is going to be bad. And now we're just going to put the bishop right here, and now his only move is to block right here. Now we can simply take the knight, and then say we're going to take the queen, take this pawn, and it's all just collapsing. He has a fully open king. You're just gonna, what you're just gonna do in this position, you're just going to try and checkmate him with the pieces that you have. And then bring in the rooks. Bring the rooks in. Mate in three. We have check. And eventually you will mate him. And easy win. Alright, thank you for watching so much. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And, uh, wait, I want the video to be 10 minutes long. Go.